name is Benjamin Mayles and I'm the co-founder and technology director of Studio XO. Studio XO is a fashion technology company based in North London. So Volantis was commissioned in 2013 and is the world's first flying dress. We built it for Lady Gaga and we, we developed the concept with her. It's a manned vehicle, so it's a personal aircraft essentially. It's designed using tried and tested designs borrowed from the unmanned aerial vehicle industry. It's known as a HEX-12, so it's got six arms and 12 rotors. So each arm has, has two rotors per arm, which provide the thrust to, to, to enable the, uh, the craft to lift off the ground. So Volantis is, is made primarily from carbon fibre and titanium. Everything rotor level is, is actually carbon fibre. The truss section in the centre is actually made of, of titanium. They used a lot in the aeronautic industry. We made a kind of a bodice for her. Uh, that's also made of carbon fibres. Although the, the machine itself had to be strong, it had to be hard, um, we wanted it to still have the affordances of fashion. So we built a very beautiful front casing, which basically completed the dress. Volantis is remote controlled, so it's not actually um, piloted by the passenger. When we flew it in New York, the pilot is a, is a train, train pilot who actually specializes in flying unmanned aerial vehicles. Humanity has always aspired to fly, and there's lots of really interesting things happening around flying. Looking at something like Virgin Galactic, where the idea of commercial space travel in the next decade is a reality. Personal flight, flying vehicles is, all, is also something that's, that's really happening. And Volantis might seem very science fiction, but if you consider the developments in vehicle design, you look at uh, trends towards uh, space travel and jetpack design, you know, actually, the idea of having a personal aerial vehicle that has to have style and has to have the affordances of fashion doesn't seem that, that crazy. You know, who knows, you know, in, in 10 years' time, we might all be flying around on Volantis.